Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping. And today I wanted to do a video to show you guys all the brand new colors that we just got. Some of these are brand new and some of these are um, old returning ink colors from the past, but they might be new to you. And I wanted to show you. I made these really cute note cards. Note cards are great. They're uh, three by five cards and they come in a pack of 20 and you can either get Whisper White or you can get Very Vanilla. And I have a combination of both in here and they come, like I said, in a pack of 20 and the envelopes are included. So note cards are a perfect size if you want to make like a bunch of them to give to someone as a gift or just for yourself to write a quick note in, uh, to stick in, you know, your kid's lunchbox or you need to send someone a quick note uh, to a teacher or a coworker or something. Note cards are great. At the end, I'll show you guys how I made these cute little note cards. They're really simple. All right, first we have Balmy Blue and Balmy Blue is one of the new subtle colors and I love this blue. So it's a um, it's darker than uh, Soft Sky was, one of the colors we lost. It's definitely more of a blue, but it's a lighter blue. I love this one. I will be using this a lot, um, a true blue. It'll also be perfect for baby cards, but it's not just that. This is a great blue color. So this is the Balmy Blue. Next we have the, uh, why do I always forget, Blackberry Bliss. There we go, Blackberry Bliss is one of the returning in colors from a few years ago. So it's a really dark purple. It kind of looks similar to Fresh Fig, but trust me, it's different. Fresh Fig has a little more gray or brown in it. Um, this is a brighter, um, if that makes sense, purplish, a dark purple color, Blackberry Bliss. Almost, well, lighter than actual blackberries are. Blackberries kind of look black, but you know how when blackberries get smushed, that dark purplish color, that's definitely what this is. So Blackberry Bliss, and Blackberry Bliss is one of the new, let's see, uh, Regal colors. Then we have Coastal Cabana, and Coastal Cabana is in the Brights collection. This is really pretty. This reminds me of like the color of the water in Greece. We had visited there a couple years ago. We also uh, went to Universal Studios in Orlando and stayed at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort and it was all this color. This color was everywhere. Um, so this is Coastal Cabana and again, it's uh, one of the new Brights colors. Then we have Flirty Flamingo and Flirty Flamingo is a returning ink color from a couple of years ago. And this is a really nice pink color. It's one of the brights. Look, my fingernails match it. I thought this polish looked flirty flamingo and I was right. This is, um, it's a pink, but it's different than any other pink we have. It's uh, almost, I don't even know how to describe it. Flamingo is perfect. It's like the color of a flamingo. I love it. All right, next is Granny Apple Green. This one is brand new. It's also in the Brights collection. You guys are going to love this. So you know we have Lemon Lime Twist, and actually, let me grab it. It's very different from that. Lemon Lime Twist, see, is more of a bright, almost a neon uh, color. This is different. This is like a lime green, and this will be sticking around, whereas we're going to lose Lemon Lime Twist in a year. But I think you guys will love Granny Apple Green. We don't have anything else like this. This is the new gray granite. So this is um, one of the new neutrals colors and it's a pretty uh, gray color. In fact, if you saw my video yesterday with the Coffee Cafe card, I used gray granite as my card base. I like this uh, color of gray, different than basic gray, which we still have. Definitely different than Sahara sand and all this. So this was um, a color uh, we could really use, but look, isn't it pretty even as a note card with the flower? All right, next we have Gorgeous Grape. This is a brand new color and I'm in love. And those of you who know me in real life, you know that I try not to love purple. Um, I'm a cougar, go Cougs. So I try not to love purple because those are our rivals, the Huskies, but this purple color is awesome. I'm drawn to it. I'm probably going to be using this a lot. It's called Gorgeous Grape. This is a true purple. You will love this. All right. Then we got another new purple, and that gar this gorgeous grape, it's one of the brights. We got another new purple that's part of the Subtles collection, and this one's called Highland Heather. So this one's like a lighter purple. So see, the gorgeous grape is darker. Um, this card, you see, this is Whisper White. This one's very vanilla. But see, it's a lighter purple. So pretty. In fact, Highland Heather is the perfect name for this uh, color. Then we got um, another new bright and this one's called Mango Melody, and that's a perfect name for it. It really is the color of the inside of a mango. So kind of an orangish, yellowish. It's very different from like Crushed Curry. Crushed Curry is more of a dark yellow, whereas this is an orangey yellow color. Um, it's really pretty and bright, which it's part of the brights. Okay, then we have Mary Merlot. This is another brand new neutral color. And it's like kind of, what would you call that? Like a burgundy 
Merlot is a perfect name for this. Um, it's pretty, and like I said, it's in the neutrals, but I think you could use it as a color. In fact, um, on my live video on Tuesday, I used Mary Merlot uh, for my card base. So you can look back on that if you wanna see what it looks like uh, with a card. All right, next we have Mint Macaron. This one's on the Very Vanilla card. This is a returning ink color. I was so happy to see this return. I love Mint Macaron. So it's in the, now in the Subtles family. And can you guys see that? It's like, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like a greenish, I would have called it seafoam green, but we did get a new, another new color that's called soft seafoam. So it's like a darker version of that. So pretty. All right, then we have Mossy Meadow, which is another returning in color from the past. And this went into the neutrals and it's like a dark green. It's different than uh, Old Olive. In fact, let me grab the Old Olive. So Old Olive is now in the Regals collection. It used to be the bright. And this was probably our darkest green color. And you can see the Mossy Meadow is even darker than that. In fact, it makes Old Olive look bright, which it used to be in the brights. Remember, now it's a Regal. And then we have Mossy Meadow now, which is like the darkest green we probably have. And that is in the neutrals. Then we have brand new Petal Pink. Isn't that so pretty? This is a good pink color. It's kind of like a peachy pink, if that makes sense. So... Blushing Bride is going to be your probably your pinkest pink. Uh, and we still have Blushing Bride, which is uh, in your settles. And then now we have Petal Pink, which is also in the settle. So Blushing Bride is like your pinkest baby pink color. Petal Pink is like a peachy pink color. And then the Flirty Flamingo, like my fingernails, you can see is more like a flamingo pink color. So we have a lot of good pinks to work with. So this is Petal Pink. And then Poppy Parade. So Poppy Parade is in the Brights collection. And it's kind of a reddish color. Can you guys see that? So it's not red like real red. And real red moved out of the Brights and moved into the Regals. But let me show you real red. Okay, see how real red, it's almost a deeper color, which makes sense that it moved to the Regals. So real red is a real red. Whereas Poppy Parade is more like an orangey red. Um, so I think it will be nice having both because the real red is more of like a bluish red, whereas Poppy Parade is more of an orangey red. And then our new In Color Lovely Lipstick is more of a pink red. So it's kind of nice that we have all three. And then of course we still have Cherry Cobbler, which is that deep dark red color. So that's Poppy Parade. And then the final brand new color is the Soft Sea Foam. And I thought I would show you, since the ink pads are brand new, if you're getting these new colors, how to what, what you should do with the brand new ink pads. So this is what it comes like when you get it. And this is one's called Soft Sea Foam. So I usually just grab my scissors and cut open the, take off the plastic. Now remember, they're a little tight when you first get them and that's normal, but it will loosen up over time. So what I like to do is there are stickers on the back and I like to just peel the whole thing off. So like so. And sometimes some of them stick on there and that's fine and just ignore it. So I take the whole thing and I'm actually, you can't see it, but I'm just gonna stick it at the end of my table there for right now, cause I'm gonna need it. Okay, so I do need this one that stayed on there. So the first one always is the name of the ink color. It says Soft Sea Foam. I know it's hard to see. So that's going to go, before we even open it, let's stick that on right here on the side that's got the little lip right there. And it's just going to go right on the end like so. Okay, so that way you can always see the name of your ink pad um, when you have them stacked up. The nice thing about these new ink pads, they will stack on top of each other, whereas our old ones don't do that. Okay, then back with this. I also like to take one of them. So there's one, two, three, four. There's five different strips. One is blank. We're going to use that on the inside. And the one at the top always has the name. And I know you guys can't see that real well, but don't worry. But then I just pick one of the other three. It doesn't even matter which one. I like to grab it. And I like to stick it on one of my sides, just like so. That way, when my ink pad is open, if for some reason I can't see the end or the inside, I can see on the top too. It's just another visual when it's open and I'll show you. So to open it, you just take your finger and pop it up like this and then you shove it in. And this one actually was really easy to open. But see how now when it's open, I can still see the color there. All right, now I'll go back to this and grab the, they're all sticking to me, 
The one at the bottom, which is blank, it doesn't have any names on it. It's just blank. And that one's gonna go right inside here. So I just pop it in and use my finger to press it down. And you could use like a bone folder or something if you want, but that's it. So now I visually can see what the color is when I'm stamping, because have you ever had multiple stamp pads open and then you're, you accidentally stamp into the wrong one? Because sometimes you can't tell what the color is from looking at the stamp pad. All right, so this is what it looks like all open. And while I've got it open now, I wanna show you guys how I made these cute little note cards. So the first thing I did was I need a note card and I'm actually gonna grab another very vanilla note card. And they already come scored and everything. So let me move this out of the way. Just gonna fold it in half. And I'm gonna give it a nice crisp fold. And I need a piece of scrap paper. So I'm gonna grab one, bear with me one second. I need to grab a piece of grid paper. And I'm gonna fold this in half. Okay, so you need just a piece of grid paper and I'm gonna stick my note card on here. Okay, and I stamped my background with the brand new handwritten background stamp. It looks just like this. So this is one of the new background stamps and it has a bunch of words and cursive. I can't even write, read them all because some are in a different language, but I mean, it says all kinds of things. It says happy, merci, um, what else can I see? Create, share, have courage, welcome. I see happy, I see inspire, love. Uh, what else do I see in here? Thank you, celebrate. It's just all kinds of words, but it's just kind of a fun background stamp. And I have that right here, already mounted onto my, uh, what do we call this block? The F block there. And I'm going to lay it down and then I'm gonna just take my ink pad and I'm gonna ink it up. Don't need to press too hard, I just wanna ink up the whole thing. Okay, and I'm actually going to set that aside. Okay, I'm just gonna lay this right here and flip this around. I wanna get it as straight as I can because I want my handwriting to be kind of straight. And then I'm just gonna go right over the top and press and lift. And look at that, isn't that so cool? So that's the soft sea foam. And I'm actually gonna just grab my chamois. The chamois is awesome, the new chamois. It's all purple, but will get stained over time. You just get it wet like under your sink and then it can stay wet for several hours and you just wipe off and that is it and my stamp is clean and ready to be put away okay the next thing I did was I'm going to grab a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock here and I grabbed the Daisy Delight stamp set to stamp the Daisy there and I will go ahead and ink that up in the soft sea foam so this soft sea foam is a very, very, very light green stamp. And again, wipe that off and that's clean and ready to be put away. Isn't that am amazing? Look at that, see, nothing. It's totally clean. I'm in love with this chamois. All right, and I can close up my ink. So again, you pull right here where the color is, pull. And they're a little bit tight at first. That's normal, pull, close, snap, that's it. Then I'm gonna grab my daisy punch. Go ahead and line it up. Come on. I'm gonna line this up. Get it lined up. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. Line it up. Punch it out. Okay. And I'm going to grab a, actually, I'm gonna grab the brand new soft sea foam card stock. And go in punch a daisy out of that. Come on, there we go. All right, then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and I'm first gonna just stick a little bit of snail adhesive right in the center of my soft sea foam. Actually, I don't need this anymore. And I wanna line this up so that they're overlapping. There we go. Then I'm gonna stick a dimensional right on the back. Come on. Peel that off, grab my note card here, and it's gonna go right in the center. And then to finish it off with a little bling, because I love that, I'm going to grab a clear gem, and it's gonna go right in the center. And actually, this is a bigger one than I've been using, 
but it looks like I'm out of the medium sized ones, but it looks pretty with the big one. And that is my note card to match the rest of them. So here they are again. All right, so one, for, one more time, let's take a look. We've got Balmy Blue. It's like a quiz, see if we can remember the names. Balmy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Gray Granite, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Mango Melody, Mary Merlot, let's see, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, Poppy Parade, and then we have the Soft Sea Foam. Aren't these so gorgeous, these new colors? You guys, I'm having so much fun working with these new colors. So anyway, I hope you'll check them out too. So don't feel like you need to go out and replace all of your old ink pad colors with the new ink pad. It will, they'll work fine. There's nothing different um, about the ink or anything, so that's totally fine. Just don't use, <coughs> when you get the new ink pads, the brand new colors, this style of ink pad, the only difference is there's a defoamer added to the ink. So don't use your old reinkers in the new ink pads. Any reinkers you buy from now on will be the new formula that has the defoamer. So that's fine to use in your old ink pads. Just don't use the old reinkers in your new ink pads. Does that make sense? So if you really wanted to replace anything, you should replace your reinkers and save the old reinkers for things like water coloring or anytime you need to use the ink but not to refill your ink pads. I hope that made sense. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, video checking out all the brand new colors, and you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.